Welcome to Health Class, Larvae. Today, we'll be talking about the discovery of insect hormones. Um, what's hormones? Let's watch a short video about it. Fly School presents The Ligation. Outside fly school, you may often see this, a human baby. As time passes, this baby grows up and eventually becomes an adult. This development is also seen in our kind. We flies begin as eggs, grow as larvae into pupae, and finally emerge as adults. In humans, one major factor that regulates this growth and development is hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers in the body, carried by blood, that regulate things like development and reproduction. Many of these hormones are created and secreted by a gland at the base of the brain. This gland is known as the pituitary gland. But what about in us insects? What regulates our growth and development? Do we also have hormones made in our brains? How can we determine if insects have hormones too? Let's figure this out with a simple experiment. For this experiment, we need to clarify that insects are quite different from humans. For one, humans have a closed circulatory system, which means they have blood vessels and veins to carry blood to different parts of their bodies. But us insects have an open circulatory system, which means instead of blood, we have hemolymph that freely floats around in our body without the need for blood vessels. Insects also have multiple respiratory openings. While humans need to breathe from one place, us flies have four spiracles which help us breathe, two on our butts and two on our heads. These two characteristics allow scientists to perform really cool experiments like the one I'll be presenting next, the ligation experiment. For the ligation experiment, we hypothesize that insects also have hormones made in their brains that regulate their growth and development. To test this hypothesis, we can take a larvae and tie it in the middle. By tying this larvae in the middle, we block hormones from getting into the bottom half of the larva. Because these larvae have respiratory openings both in the top and bottom half, and have an open circulatory system that provides independent circulation for both halves, it will survive. Once this larva is tied, let's wait one week to see what happens. One week later. Wow, look at this. Only the top half of the larvae developed into the next stage of pupa. We can claim that hormones that regulate growth and development are made in the top half of the larva, most likely their brains. And if we block these hormones, the insects won't develop into the next stage. Let's watch a short demonstration from a human doing this experiment. Here, they are tying the larva up, right in the middle. Right after they are done tying the larva up, they will wait one week to see what happens. Let's see a real photo after one week. See? The top half has pupated, and the bottom half has remained a larva. You can still see the spiracles there, the two brown dots. Now let's go over what we learned today. Insects have an open circulatory system. Insects have multiple respiratory openings. And insects also have hormones that regulate their growth and development. Okay, class. This ends my lesson for today. Go get ready for wandering, class.